Hello and welcome <laughs> to the world of pride. And I am your host, the one and only Santa Love. Okay, so I don't look like the guy. Well, you know, almost got white hair, gray hair, you know, like Santa does. And it's Christmas morning. <laughs> it's really early. It's like five o'clock in the morning or something like that, you know, on Christmas morning. But I'm doing a YouTube video. I got this from uh, Dolby or Dob or whatever it's called. And you can use this on the uh, Xbox Series S or X or the Xbox One S or X. And it's made uh, for the Xbox. Uh, it's a wireless keyboard. Uh, distance is 8 to 10 meters or whatever. Uh, it's got a 2.4 gigabyte, um, did, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's not digital, but um, Bluetooth. And this actually fits inside of your Xbox, which is pretty cool. And this is what it looks like in the box. And it's got a, a port on the back of it. Little uh, plug in to your system thing. And of course, this is what it looks like. Make sure all the parts are in here. Okay, there's the instructions. Tells you how to use it. And I've already got like two or three of them already. So I know basically how it works. Uh, that you can plug it into your Xbox and it looks like that. You have a little digital thing, you know, and then that's what it looks like. So let's pull it out of the box here. Uh, or make sure it's got all those little pieces to it. <laughs> all right, got to be careful not to tear it up. All right. And, oh man, this is a lot nicer than the other one that I had. Um, yeah, it's a lot nicer than the other one. Oh, well, this is a real nice one. Xbox went all out on this one. I got another one over here somewhere where, where it's just a regular, um, let's open it up carefully. Don't tear it up. See, this is the PlayStation one, and it basically plugs into the controller right there, but it doesn't have anything special with it. It's just the, the thing. But this one here is the Xbox one, and you you plug it in to the Xbox right here, and then you got the little the little Bluetooth thing plugs into it right here. The little the little uh, uh, part you plug into the 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 system, the Xbox, and that gives you the uh, Bluetooth stuff. So put that back in there without tearing it up. And see, it goes straight in there when you're not using it, so you don't lose it. That's pretty cool. And then it's got this little uh, pull thing where you pull it out like this. And then that's where your little prong thing is. See, you, you lift it up. That's your little prong thing where you're going to plug that into the Xbox. See, that's where your sound this is just a regular one, and then this is the sound thing, where it gives you the sound and everything. And, and I don't know if there's a, 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 a speaker or something on here, something like that, where you can hear through the controller or something like that, with the, like the Xbox, I mean the PlayStation one in it. But uh, yeah, you slide that in, and then you plug this all into the uh, Xbox and everything. And it does have the... Uh, charging thing here at the bottom. Oh, let me turn off my alarm. Does have the charging thing here, and then this is the ear jack for your on your thing, and then this is uh the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth, you push that button in, and it's supposed to uh, uh, make it work and everything like that. Now. As far as I can see, this isn't battery operated, and there's, I don't know if you can, you, you probably have to charge it. Yeah, you probably have to charge it up or something like that for it to work. Let me see if the little button does anything. 
Okay, there's no on and off switch that I can see. Uh, well, that's the only other thing that is different. This one has the, the uh, little, you pull this thing down, this little rubber thing, and then you, and then you click this back down into the hole here. Let me see if I can show it to you without tearing it up. And you slide it down in here, which is pretty nice feature. That's a pretty nice feature. You know, so that's basically two good features. You know, you got, oh, make sure I put it the right way so it'll go in there. Yeah, okay. You have to put it in there a certain way so it don't get stuck. Pretty nice. It's got two features. You got the slide down thing here, and then you got the the, the hot toggle right here. And, uh, yeah, it works just like the other ones. You know, you type on it and so that. Whereas this one here, the toggle thing doesn't lay down. It just stands up. See, it doesn't lay down. You can't, you can't move it. So you have to be very careful that you don't jab it or, or lay something down on top of it and break it and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's not a very safe design where... Xbox already thought about that where you can lay the piece down and stick it inside of the controller So you don't have to worry about damaging it. See I can hit like this or I can hit like that and I can tear that thing up You know, which isn't very safe I wish I could take it out and uh, turn it inside out maybe and and it would feel it would probably do better job, but oh well, that's Something that, you know, they didn't demonstrate on the instructions that I know of. I don't think you can turn inside, pull it out and turn inside out or anything like that. You know, I think it just sticks out like that the whole entire time. Yeah. <sighs> That's the only thing depressing about that one. Which, you know, it does have a speaker in it, which is better than and a turn on and off button. So, yeah, it does. It, it, it's good. You know, both of them have ups and downs. You know, the PlayStation version has the speaker in the thing and it has the on and off switch where this one doesn't really have an on and off switch. You have to have it charging the whole time you're using it. So if you, you know, so that one, yeah, it gives you a little battery power where you can play it until it goes out or until maybe it comes on and says your battery is dying on it. You have to charge it. Whereas this one doesn't have a battery in it that I know of, and it doesn't uh, doesn't have an on and off switch that I can see, so you can't turn it on to to use it, you know, unless you have it plugged in, you know, so it uses the electricity or whatever. But anyway, um, that's basically uh, the Xbox controller um, keyboard that they they have, and it's not as nice and silky as the other one, this is just a regular uh, foam type uh, cover where this one was a more of a silky soft bag or something, but anyway, if you get a chance to uh, get you one of these, uh, either you can go and get Adobe or Dobe or Dob or whatever it's called, a uh, wireless keyboard for your uh, Xbox or your PlayStation. And, uh, but that's our video. Y'all have a Boston day and a perfect tomorrow. We'll catch y'all at Scratch and Poke where we can meow about, um, now they had a cat in it that you could, you know, roll in and enjoy yourself. And then if you had to, like, do something right away and be like go somewhere and didn't have to worry about anybody knowing you were rolling the catnip you could just like turn it off and and turn it back on when you got back home and continue where you left off but anyway bye